of them, hopefully. Oh, no. The giraffe are moving too quickly. But the giraffe are very, very, very close to the sausage tree pride, who are also quite close to these big male lions. There, the sausage tree pride, you can just see a few white dots on the rocky outcrop there. Morning. And I'm not too sure how many of them are there. I think it could just be two lioness and three sub-adults. The fourth sub-adults went AWOL yesterday afternoon, or evening rather. We're not sure why it dropped off and left the rest of the herd. I really want to try and get some two shots. We've got a great opportunity here of the giraffe looking at those lions because the lions are nicely elevated above them. But I think we may have missed that boat. Now, what I'd also like to do is show you where the male lions are in relation to this whole scene that's unfolding here. Oh, no. Our oh, timing's off. <laughs> I'm hoping the young cubs decide to give these giraffes a little bit of a run for their money. Now, these giraffe are in the initial stages of thinking about mating. This male you can see is following this female very, very intently but she's obviously not in season just yet but he's making sure that as soon as she changes her mind and is ready for a male he is going to be there and i've noticed quite a few giraffe at the moment seem to be coming into season there's lots of males following females around hello laz it is wonderful to hear from you and the reason being is because you're asking whether this is live and obviously the fact that i'm talking to you now confirms that quite ridiculous isn't it and it's been a while since i actually got a question of anyone asking whether this was live or not if i logged on to safari live i would be sure to ask because it's something that is some really quite hard to imagine that we're sitting here in the middle of the african wilderness sharing these scenes with you in real time so welcome to the safari live family laz you have decided to join on a good morning we are getting spoilt with some beautiful scenes and all quick vulture flying shots. <laughs> nice, Dave. Beautiful, look at this. It's cruising. Still not hot enough for it to be floating effortlessly. So you can see it's still having to do a little bit of work. And what's interesting, uh, this is so cool, there's lots of vultures descending onto the scene above these male lions, and this is a false alarm. So I can see about four or five vultures already perched in the tree there. And obviously one of them saw the male lions and flew in and got the rest thinking that there may be a kill somewhere nearby. The male lions are just below them in the tree, below those trees over there. There we can see one of them and the other two now. Oh, did you see that one vulture landed on the back of another one? <laughs> Come onto the scene because we can now show you where the males are in relation towards where these two lioness and this sub-adult cubs are. Now, I've got no idea if the males know the females are here. I would assume that they do and I would assume that the females can see the males from where they are. Now, if we're very, very lucky, we may see these males attempt to try and catch a giraffe. I'm not too sure if they consider themselves giraffe hunting experts in any way. They may not be interested at all. But two of them are definitely quite hungry, so... With a bit of luck, we could see an epic, epic showdown between two of the African giants. Hello, Aya, you'd like to know if the prides of lying here have started specializing in hunting certain kinds of prey and i mean during the migration of course they're going to 
kill a lot of wildebeest because that is the most common food source. So I think definitely during the migratory months they semi-specialize in hunting wildebeest. But to be honest, I mean, there's just so many of them. There's not much skill involved in being a lion during the migration months. The food literally just runs into you. But you do definitely get lions and prides that will specialize in hunting certain prey. I mean, the lioness within this little pride that we're looking at now, they have killed quite a few buffalo. So, and the fact that there's only two of them means I think that it's fair to say that they are specialists because for two lionesses to take down a buffalo is not an easy feat. But I haven't spent enough time with various prides to notice any of them becoming extreme specialists in hunting any one prey species. I guess what we must also remember is that here in the Mara there's a multitude of different prey that's kind of of a similar size, zebra, topi, wildebeest, eland, they're all kind of the larger prey species, all which are suited well to lion. I think, was it yesterday, I think, Taylor was answering some questions about do vultures sometimes get confused between an animal that's sleeping and something that's actually dead. And I guess this morning is a good example that they too sometimes make mistakes. And just the fact that, you know, one vulture saw some lions, thought, that, you know, the, it, would, it would be worth coming to investigate if there was a kill there, then the other vultures see, and then it's just a chain reaction because... Of course, once one vulture sees another five vultures flying in there, even though they don't know what they're flying towards, more and more will keep coming. Although this morning, the chain reaction stopped at about five or six vultures. So maybe their behavior upon arrival has helped other vultures realize that there's not too much going on. Wonderful. Well, there's a surprisingly not the lions. So they maybe had a busy night and aren't interested in wasting any energy chasing some very tricky prey to subdue. Hi, Becca, you'd like to know if vultures ever accumulate enough in numbers to push predators off their kills. I think occasionally smaller predators like lion and leopard may possibly get overrun. And even a single lioness, if she is on a kill, she and she tries to chase vultures that are building on one side, other vultures can come in and start feeding on the carcass. So... It can happen from time to time, but as a general rule, vultures will wait their turn. Hyenas are the main scavenger that can chase animals off their hard-won kills, but vultures not very frequently, I don't think.